everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and I am here with another journal flip through of a yellow themed journal, another yellow botanical themed one. And this one I had fun sort of revisiting this idea of this yellow journal where I did a collage on the back here. So I did a bit of a collage here with some music paper and vintage ledger and then this beautiful focal point here. I think that is absolutely stunning. And then on the back, I did the same thing like this journal, did a bit of a patchwork there. So I really love how that looks and maybe you want to continue doing some more of that because in this book that I got from an op shop, there are so many floral images and they've organized the book by color. So it sort of inspired me to make a journal like this, one for each color. We'll see how we go. <laughs> so this one is actually a custom order and I was challenged to make it um, during a live by the lovely Jo. Um, I was talking about how I was struggling to think of what to do with these coffee dyed yellow pages. I was hoping that when I coffee dyed them it would sort of lose the yellow colour because yellow is my least favourite colour. Um, and then yeah, it's still very, very yellow, so I just wasn't quite sure. Um, but I ended up making a vintage botanical um, yellow journal. This one uh, is also botanical and yellow, but not vintage. So this one, I had the challenge of making it vintage to tie in with the coffee dye papers. And I really actually, it always turns out this way, I loved making this one uh, I, I loved making this one too, but I enjoyed this one more because I had a bigger challenge. And it's always the way I find that when you're stretched out of your comfort zone, it forces creativity and it forces you to try new things, new combinations and get out of your comfort zone. And it's just really fun. <laughs> I love it. At the very start, it's always scary and intimidating, but it becomes like you just let go and experiment and have fun. So anyway, Joe's favorite colors are green and yellow. So I made sure to represent both of those. Um, you could write on here like a little list or something. Um, this one here is a journal card that I sewed onto some of the yellow coffee dyed paper and I use images from the book and her favorite flowers are roses, daisies and sunflowers. So I represented all of those in this journal as well. It's always fun when you have a custom order and when I know the person because then I can tailor it to them and personalize it and yeah, I love doing that. Um, it makes it so much more special and meaningful. So I've got some vintage ledger, some yellow vintage ledger. I think that's perfect for this journal. Um, and I've been hoarding this paper. I've got some of these gorgeous vintage tags with the same stickers that I used on the cover here. You can see that's the same one there. And a whole bunch of my tags throughout. Look at that. Look at that. Stunning. So I use a bunch of those papers and some illustrated book page and I had fun making some of this journal the process sharing the process on some lives and I just included some of the off cuts as well because these are kind of fun you can cut these out individually and use them for collage or just to decorate the page and we've got some beautiful gold foil paper bag and I love these these are I believe Tim Holtz die cut pieces so we've got sunflower and the beautiful butterfly really really fun and I thought that paired really well with these floral images here we've got a doily and a beautiful green guest check with a yellow index card and a yellow paint chip I love this page so I, I was saving this for me actually because I love pages where you have like the sticky tape where it discolors and yeah, such interesting paper. I love it. But I thought that would be perfect for this more vintage style journal um, where we have the sort of lovely patinas and coffee dyed pages, daisies, roses, roses. This is from an Edith Holden image. There's a yellow flower peeking out there. So I thought that was very cool. And Jo had a say in how she wanted this journal to look. Um, with a mixture of different papers and with pockets and embellishments. So here is another book page that you can do a lot with. And I love that it tucks in here. One of my tags with a rose. And this one's a few different like 
um, scrapbook paper, pattern paper offcuts using sort of yellow and green themed pieces. So again, great for collage or for journaling on a yellow piece here. Looks very bright and happy. This is some um, uh, coffee dyed paper that folds out for extra journaling space. And that's quite a lovely image too. Another one of my floral sticker tags. I love these vintage ones, especially. I mean, they're all vintage, or well, most of them are vintage, but this one just looks way more vintage because of the color. This one folds out, so you could turn that into a pocket if you wanted. And finally, at the back, in this vellum pocket, we have another one of my sticker tags. So that is the vintage yellow botanical themed journal. And yeah, hope you absolutely love it, Joe. It was such a delight to make. And I, yeah, I really love this cover. So thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. A big special thank you to all my beautiful patrons who supported Willowbound Journals and this YouTube channel in June. If you'd like to become a patron where you get access to all my extra videos, including a journal making series each month, and depending on your tier, every printable from my Etsy shop or mail sent out to you in the post, uh, you can become a patron by clicking the link below in the description box. By becoming a patron, you also get access to all of my members videos. Um, you can also just become a YouTube member if you want to support this channel by clicking the join button and selecting whichever tier suits you. You can become a member for as little as one US dollar per month and every cent helps. So I am so, so thankful to all of you who support my YouTube channel and my creative dreams 